Good evening, everybody. This is Luke Klein's in back into another video. How's it been? Welcome back to the channel here. Um, by the way, happy Thanksgiving weekend. Um, I hope all of you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and hopefully a better Black Friday. Um, also, I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving seeing friends and family and everything else in between. Um, well, I'm very happy to have all of you back for another episode of Vacuum Sane, folks. Um, so this episode's name will be the American Household Edition of Vacuum Sane. And the reason I call it this is because you will notice that these vacuums are big in household, like, floor care names, um, especially one of them. But, <laughs> um... Especially one of these is really, really big in house care names. Um, and speaking of which, yesterday was Black Friday, and look what I bought myself. Yep, I bought a Bissell Little Green. For everything, with the vacuum, to my car mats, to just everything. It's going to be an all-around awesome machine, and I officially have a Bissell Little Green. There. So, um... By the way, um, this is the American Household Edition of Vacuum Sage, and just look how beautiful these two turned out for me, for the video here, folks. I can't wait to sh run these for you guys and show them to you, one by one. Um, so, let's go ahead and give our rundown today, um, real quick before we do that. Um, if you're brand new here, if this is your first video with me, the warmest of welcomes to you, um, my name is Luke, and I save vacuum cleaners and clean them out for people in need for free and give them back during my spare time, um, and these videos pretty much speak for themselves, um, I break them down into four categories, I do an introduction, I do a story time, which is what you're about to see here, and then... I also do a test run and some final thoughts at the end of the video, so it's a, it's a really, really, really good channel supporting a really, really good cause, and I don't think it gets much better than that. Um, and also, those of you who are brand new, leave a link in a comment section down below for how I'm doing with these videos, and I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, and... Let me know, by chance, if you guys have had one of these in the past, because I'm, I'm sure you have, if you're an older gentleman or lady. So, um, <laughs> so let's go ahead and give you a rundown of these machines for real this time. Um, so, on our left-hand side here, we have a Bissell Power Force Helux 12B1. And I'll just take a knee real quick here and show you how good this thing turned out for me. Repeating, Bissell Power Force Helix 12B1. Now, over here, something that leapt right out from the jungle to us is, on your right hand side, a Dirt Devil Jaguar MVP. Repeating a Dirt Devil Jaguar MVP. Look at how beautiful these two just turned out. So I'm going to take a, a step back here and just show you how good these turned out. I mean, look at that, folks. So let's go ahead and get story time started with the more exciting flip that I had. My Bissell Power Force Helix 12B1. Alright, folks, you know the drill. One second. Alrighty, folks, you know the drill. Welcome back to Storytime, part one of, I don't even know what episode this is now, but, um, welcome. And what I have for you today is a Bissell Power Force Helix 12B1. Now, I've been using this vacuum for about two weeks now. And I can't even think of 
anything negative to say about it. It's fantastic. And you're going to see it here in just a minute. But I'd like you to... But one big thing... And you may notice that if you had a Bissell Power Force Helix 1240 versus this, they may look very, very similar, okay? Now, I, I did have a 1240 back in one of my episodes starring... I can't even remember which episode that was now. Sorry there, folks. There we go. But anyhow, I did have a 1240. I'll let you know in the comments section, in the description section down below which episode that was, if I found it. Um, but I did have a 1240, and, but the difference that I want you to see is this. Um, so if we go ahead and take the dirt bin off here, and this is what I love about Bissell, is there cyclone technology up there, which keeps all the dirt down here, where it should be, and not up here. So, let's go ahead and take this door down. Alright. Now, here's the thing. Here's the big difference. Okay, notice with the 12B1, it's the filter door and the dustbin door do not connect. Okay, that is the biggest difference of this machine versus the Power Force Helix 1240. I'm just letting you know that in case you all of my any of my YouTube viewers go ahead and find themselves a 12B1 or a 1240 you will know the difference right off the bat and impress your owner well your previous owner of that vacuum whether it's a 1240 or a 12B1 um, and most people don't even look at the model numbers these days but we're gonna go ahead and spin this puppy around here and yes indeed it is a 12B1 here, let me focus. So see, it is a 12B1 and it is a 10, 10 amp motor. Okay. And I'll tell you what, folks. This does an amazing job on the carpet. And it even sounds really nice, too. So I am so, so, so excited to show you this. Now, I want to show you this brush roll housing down here. Don't mind the dirt, I've been running it for quite a bit now, um, but it is an absolutely fantastic vacuum if I had before pictures. Um, do you see this blue right here? Oh, I'll just tilt the vacuum back up. Um, so if you take a look at this blue here, on the bottom plate, I couldn't see any of that. And what it was, was just pure brown. Brace yourself for this actual poop. I had to deal with bodily fluids on a vacuum before. I doubled up my gloves and I doubled up my mask and played it safe. Um, so, I'm very, very, very excited to be able to show this to you guys today and just take a look at that again. How beautiful this 12B1 came to be for me here. And that is story time for the 12B1. This will power for C one. And like I said, before I move on to the Jaguar here, um MVP here, it was this was really, 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 really nasty. When I got it and I'm blessed that I could get it as clean as I will as I did. Probably tomorrow morning before I leave for college, I'll probably squeak cleaner up one last time before I go for a few weeks again. Alright, so let's get scared out of our seats because something just jumped out of the jungle at us. Here is a Dirt Devil Jaguar 12 amp MVP. Well, grrr, didn't something just pull out of the jungle for us? Take a look at this, folks. Okay, so welcome to part two of story time of Vacuum Saved, the American Household Edition of Vacuum Saved. 
So this is a Dirt Devil Jaguar um, MVP, and I got this about two weeks ago from Wow Outlet, and holy man, does this thing run amazing. I absolutely love this. It's very lightweight, and here I'll show you it is very lightweight, and it is nice and powerful too. Now, you may be wondering, what does MVP mean? And it means Maximizing Vacuum Power. MVP. Um, and believe me, you're going to tell whether you have an MVP model or not, because the carpet agitation will be insane on these MVP. They're devils. Um, not to put Bissell down, because they have pretty good agitation too. But this is just unparalleled compared to any other vacuum that I had. Okay, maybe besides my Dirt Devil Breeze right there. But, um, and for a while there, folks, I feel like it was going to be the year of the Hoovers and the Dirt Devils and stuff. But I've had a couple of goodies in, like, that Bissell 12B1 over there. So, um, which I'm very blessed to have. And I did have another 1240 in the shop, but I gave that one to my aunt who was in need of a vacuum, and then I didn't think I was going to get one again, and then God somehow blessed me, and I have a 12B1. So, um, this Dirt Devil Jaguar is 12 amps, and I got it from Wow Outlet in Greensburg, PA, and I got very lucky that it actually came with all the attachments here, so, and this, and I'm noticing a major design flaw on this, and um, what they could do better with these Dirt Devils is, do you see how the cord hooks are sort of sideways to each other like a Hoover? Um, well the thing is, these plastic cord clips are so small that the cord is just sort of like sticking out over the edge and like bending the plastic. Now, compare that to my Hoover Wind Tunnel Mach 6.1 here. One of my best vacuums in my collection, by the way. Um, so, do you see what I mean in this? Yes, they are sideways a little bit from each other, but it is so much easier. Not putting the Dirt Devil Jaguar down, it, I was just giving you guys a comparison there. Um, of how the, this va the Dirt Devil could have improved this vacuum a little bit more. Now, this base plate here and everything like that, I couldn't even see it the day I got the vacuum. So, um, yeah, it was that bad. And, it, 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 and the thing is, it was blowing all kinds of dust out at me and stuff, and that was because I didn't even have a bag before thing. Um, and I, I see that a lot with these these bagged vacuum cleaners that I get, ladies and gentlemen, um, most people don't even put the bags in them, and it's like, are, should I do a video on, on what kind of bags to use for certain vacuums and stuff, because, but, thankfully, I do have a shop vac and a tiny detailing kit that can help me clean up that mess, but I kind of like to see a different excuse to make a vacuum dirty than a bag. Now, the wrong type of bag is the most common type of error that I get when I have a bag vacuum. Um, so, let's just go ahead and be careful about, and actually take some time to look up what kind of bag goes into your vacuum. Because, I would show you, but all of my bags are clean. So, I'll just go ahead and pop my bag door real quick here. Um, so, if you have, take a look, brand new bag in it there. Um, now, also, if you have the wrong bag on it, you're going to know. And do you see this front right here? That would be all brown if you did not do it right. And this inside would also be all brown. So, it is so important to use the right bag. So, um, that is the, that's most of what I have for the story time of this machine. 
Um, I just gotta put the bag back on here one second, folks. Alright, and... Oh, I'm gonna show you the underplate of this one. Take a look at that, folks. How clean the bottom plate for this one. Now, if you guys have a Dirt Devil Jaguar or Featherlight, which they're almost the exact same model, but I'm going to show you how to pop the brush roll off real quick. Um, you have these two screws right here, right? What you want to do then is once those are out, unfortunately the dealership cracked mine right there, but that's not a big deal. So... Now what you do is you use a flathead screwdriver and push down a little bit and then pull out towards you on either side and then this bottom plate will come right off with no problem. I just thought I'd point that out to you. And look at how nice and thick quality these bristles are. I like that. This is going to really show on the carpet pickup test here. Um, so, let's go ahead and spin this puppy around and just take a look at how clean this ended up becoming. And believe me, these vacuums were a lot of work for me. And I am so proud to be showing them to you guys today. And it is our favorite time of day. It's time for a test run, guys. So... Let's go ahead and begin with the Bissell today, the 12B1. Okay. Now let me pick up the end of this cord here, and we'll go plug this puppy in. Alright, let's shut my heater off so we don't blow a power fuse. Thank you to my generous heater that my parents got me for Christmas for heating this garage up while I did that part of the video. And now it's time to hear our favorite sound. So that is plugged in there. Alright, who's ready to hear a refurbished Bissell? Because I know I sure am. I'm sure excited to be running this for you guys right now. Alrighty, our okie dokie artichokey. Here comes a Bissell Power Force. 12B1 Helix in 3, 2, 1. Well, would you listen to how smooth that baby is? I don't think I've ever heard a Bissell that smooth. Let's hear that again. Absolutely fantastic, folks. And as you can see, man, did it show on its side. So let's go ahead and wrap this up, and then we got to get to the thing that's scaring us out of the jungle.
Alrighty, here we go. And by the way, this vacuum was one of the toughest vacuums I've had to do for a while. And congratulations to the 12V1 for doing such a good job on its strip of carpet here. So, good, good, good job, Bissell. You did well. Now, let's see if your competitor is any better than you are. I don't know, folks. This will be close. Tell me in the comment sections down below. Since both of these, I'll just go ahead and say it, these vacuums are about the same powerful. So go ahead and tell me in the comment sections down below which one do you think did better in this test. Let me know. So, um, I'm very, very, very excited to get this baby a test run. Here comes a Dirt Devil Jaguar. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get this baby unwound here. Okay. I'll get that later. Alright, so here comes a moment we've all been waiting for. Here comes your Dark Devil Jaguar MVP in 3, 2, 1. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jaguar. Settle. Settle. Nice kitty. <laughs> okay, folks. Here comes a Dark Devil Jaguar MVP in 3, 2, 1. My golly, isn't that one scared happy cat? Wow, look at that. I don't know which one did better, folks. You've got to let me know. Oh, wait, the Bissell missed a section here. Hey, Dirt Devil, do you think you can handle that? <laughs> Calm down, Giddy. <laughs> there we go, folks. I'll wrap this baby up and give some final thoughts here. Alright. Let's go ahead and wrap this crazy cat up. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and give some final thoughts here once I get the missile back in. Alright, so my final thoughts for these two. Um, these two are very, very light and powerful, as we could tell. There we go. Um, and they... Both did a really, really, really good job on the carpet agitation here. You can tell there's not a speck missing. 
I mean, seriously, guys, you gotta let me know in the comments which one did better. Well, I'm really happy I can do this for you guys. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.